Hi, this is Chris Suprock, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about the Knockmaster, which is a string gauge based knock sensor for automotive use. Uh, it's superior to the acceleration based knock sensors because it's going to give less false positives than an acceleration based knock sensor, which is the typical OVM knock sensor, is an accelerometer. The nice part about these is they're going to make the knock sensor actually into something that you can tune with. Normally with an um, accelerometer based knock sensor you're going to get lots of problems with phantom knock and vibration because it's actually reading the engine motion. You want something that corresponds to the actual strain in the block. Um, so in that way this is a much more powerful type of knock sensor that actually allows you to know when a knock event's happening for real. It differentiates that from a phantom knock event which would be caused by the motion of the engine, something that you don't care about you actually care when a knock event happens and there's strain in the block corresponding to pressure in the cylinder. So we'll take a look at this device right here. It's hooked up. It runs right off of 5 volts, so a sensor supply line, a uh, typical 5 volt sensor supply line. And the output is also ratiometric on 5 volts corresponding to the strain that's input to the device. So let's take a look here. If I squeeze this at a low frequency, I'm applying strain to the board, but nothing's happening here on the scope. You can see there's barely any reading going on here for me squeezing this, which means that we filter it out a lot of the low frequencies, which is desirable. But if I put higher frequencies into this by tapping it, you can see on the screen it's outputting a pretty strong level signal. These use uh, semiconductor strain gauges, so we build our own sensors actually here, the same ones that we use for our machine tool products and we put the semiconductor sensors on this. The nice part about it is it's easy to install so you can adhere one of these devices right to your block or to your head wherever you find a convenient place to locate it and you can adhere it with JB Weld or some epoxy or something like that. Insulate it simply with silicone spray